Mekong, life aboard Scenic Spirit is as laid back and luxurious as you could imagine. With a maximum of 68 guests, it's both indulgent and intimate. And today, Scenic's Treasures of the Mekong Cruise has transported us from Cambodia across the border into Vietnam. It's amazing, like we've been cruising along first day in Vietnam and already I've noticed just how different the landscape is. Yeah, it looks busier, isn't it? We have more of the industry, it looks more urban, yeah. with all the houses, and we have fish farm, we have the aquaculture along the river, and motorized boat up and down all day long. So where are we headed to now? We are heading to the Evergreen Island. It stay green all year ground, and people grow beautiful crops on it. So we have corn, we have okra, or right. ladyfinger, and we have very hot chili. Right, so it's a wide variety of produce. So it's just like one giant floating plantation. It is, yeah. Travelling by sampan, a traditional flat-bottom boat, we're able to get right alongside these remote villages. Come on. Wow, truly Vietnamese now. You just try to say thank you. I tried to say thank you. I thought I did say thank you. <laughs> Village life in Vietnam is both humbling and heartwarming, especially meeting some of the locals. <laughs> she said she... Um, Every day she wake up and she try to figure out what can what she can help her son. At her age, she's getting a little bit uh, weaker, right. so she would try her best to figure out things that she can do and help. Well, she's certainly not getting more camera shy as she gets <laughs> older. That's a certain. Yeah. Do, do you think we could ask her one more question? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Ninety-three years old. What is the what's the what's the secret of living a long, happy life? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, she laughs all the time. Yeah, she said, I laugh all the time. That sounds like good advice. Most locals here still make a living from farming. Well, you weren't kidding when you said chili was the main crop. It's everywhere. <laughs> How hard is it to grow? It takes around three months until we get the chili fruit. Uh, how hot does it get? Well, it has medium level to bloody hot level. Bloody hot. <laughs> OK, yeah, well, let's try one. If you try one, I'll try one. OK. Oh, my God. <laughs> bloody hot <laughs> was not an accurate description for how hot that is. Just open mouth of the wind to blow All right, I need something to put this out. <laughs> As part of our visit, we're invited into a traditional family home. Having your house on stilt serves two purposes, doesn't it? Like, in wet season, it keeps the house dry, but then on a hot day like this, it's a nice, cool place to sit. Yeah, it's always cool to stay downstairs. So in Australia, we have a, a big coffee culture. Is it the same in Vietnam? Does everyone drink coffee? Yeah, we have big coffee culture over here too. And in the southern part of Vietnam, we are coffee drinker. More in the north of Vietnam, people are tea drinker. Mm -hmm. Would you like to try your coffee with sugar or something local, local with uh, condensed milk? I'll definitely go local, local. One teaspoon. Just one full teaspoon. God, it looks good. Yeah. <laughs> so just tip that in, yeah, stir yeah. it in. Stir it in. Mm, that's really good. I keep dancing in the sun. The day's activities are balanced out with ample time to relax back on board. <gasps> what a great way to finish the day. Oh, 